And good day, everybody, and good morning. I'm Brian William Hewitt, and welcome to our broadcast as you do our Sunday prayers live here. And we're going to be speaking of the of His great, of the fruitfulness of the, of His greatest commandment, His greatest love to all of us. And we're going to be in Matthew 22, Matthew 22. And just uh, some quick announcements: you can follow my wife over Anita Hewitt, Food for the Soul over Blogger, as well as blog loving and as well as Twitter and Instagram and again I'm Brian William Hewitt and do visit us at BrianTewitt.com BrianTewitt.com if you wish us to send us a blessing our phone number of our ministry is MCM Ministries or Morningstar Communications Network and again we're right here in Los Angeles California and do if you need a Bible get in touch with us Anita Hewitt Brian Hewitt we're all over the place and the Twitter sphere or the social media, spreading his word, spreading his talents that he's bestowed upon the great, the anointed and appointed one, Anita Evangelist, Anita Hewitt, my beautiful wife. And continue, we want to thank all of you during this week when I have some rough patches of my health. Your prayers, blessings, and love came through it all. In Jesus' Masha's name. Before I get going, Let's let's open up in prayer. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay, we lay our hearts upon you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for unity, Holy Spirit, to be a one of mine and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love, your truth, and now your truth sets us free in Jesus' matchless name. Dear Lord, we thank you for your word today. Matthew 22, 36 through 40. Master, one of his apostles said, Which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto, unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. We seem to be, as I often have said, living in a world where hate is kind of dictating where and how one should feel, how one should think. That's, that's my favorite. Yeah, I, 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 I thoroughly enjoy that one. But we have to be steadfast in our own mindset. We all make mistakes. What's the big deal? But none of us are perfect. God is. Nobody should really, really want to understand any type of faith where it, if they are threatened, they will, you, you, you all of a sudden become an enemy to that particular order. God is about love. Even in my deepest sin, God was there all around, 360, upside down, inside out, and, and all around me. He rebuked me. He brought people in my life that taught me the word. But again, with these mistakes, we go on and on and on away from them. The very nature of this message and, and the commandments that I... We just saw, expressed in Matthew 22, 36 through 40. It is the antiquity that is engraven in our very nature. It is a dignity proceeding from God. It is the excellence of the very spirit of divine adaption. And injustice prefers God in all things. It is the fruitfulness, the fulfilling of grace. But when Jesus comes back and takes the church away, you don't want to be around for the second bus because grace is gone, which means there is no wisdom around. So the yes, there's going to be many left behind who are be calling for death, but death will not 
find thee. Also, virtue and the efficacy, man united with God. The extent, loving nothing to the creature, leaving nothing to the creature, but to the Creator. And the duration of God's love for us and our love for Him is eternity is never discontinued like a bad TV show, radio show. It is never, ever discontinued. We move into His master's name. We move into a way, away from those people that want to turn you into a fool and blind you with their own pathetic lifestyle. We come into each and every one. Whether you, like myself, have been violated with HIPAA violations from your doctor's office or ministers not doing their work but adjusting the, themselves through a lifestyle, it is in your own accordance to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ, not to be of that particular person or not to dwell on their pathetic behavior. You go with what you have in that new heart that God gave you and that new mindset, the clarity of one mind and one judgment of Christ to go into this now. We move into His name. We move into His love. And for all of us right now, for all of us who don't know the Lord, this is the very part of the, of the service that we come into. I want to invite all of you to come to know the Lord from our ministry partners overseas, United States, Canada. We ask and bless all of you to bring those lost into the fold like all of us once were myself Anita all of us dear Jesus we love you do your best to say this in your heart or out loud dear Jesus we love you we'll lay our hearts before you you are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart we thank you for unity Holy Spirit to bring us forward to the calling of your nature that I Know that you are the Son of God that came down to heaven, died for our sins with his arms outstretched upon the cross so you can embrace us for all of eternity. Rose in the third day to give us your anointing of eternity. The veil was ripped and, and, and the birth of grace came upon the world. Take me, love me, I'm yours. Take me as I throw myself on the altar of you, Lord, to change me into the man that you have always wanted to be. In Jesus' much his name. If you said that prayer, Hallelujah. that's my wife praising your name in the background. I am praising your name, but most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. The remnant is but of a few, brethren. But a few. It goes more than just saying, I believe. I believe. I believe that someone's going to come up today. Yeah. But what, what, what happened after that? Did I turn my back to God? Did I just go into the wishy-washy lifestyle? It is of the love. It is of the peace that can defeat anything. Power of prayer, power of praise are the first and second mightiest weapons of the world. But as my wife can say, and I hope she says it very soon, in today's world, churches attendance is going down, but ministers are still preaching. Too many of us have an itchy ear and want to hear the good news of anything. How Mother Nature is going to bless and guide you into 
a new rhythm of the heart. Now that is interesting. It goes beyond Mother Nature. It goes beyond your nature. It goes beyond the power of choices. But again and again, say this to yourself out loud inside your own spirit. Choices are not predestined, but this is. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That is your predestined goal. Take it, love it, claim it, move upon it. From the blood of Jesus you are covered, and duration again, eternity is never, ever discontinued. Let's pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you in unity, Holy Spirit, to be one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love and your truth and how your truth sets us free. In Jesus' matchless name, brethren, from your altar call to the now of faith, we thank you for your time. Until next time, on behalf of the anointed and appointed one evangelist, Anita Hewitt, a beautiful wife, and myself, Brother Brian Hewitt, we thank you for your time. Until next time, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day for the people, and praise God, praise God, and praise God.